Hi, this is Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today the topic is intrathecal stem cell therapy. So what is an intrathecal injection? Well, it's a targeted delivery of, in this case, a stem cell biologic directly into the cerebral spinal fluid. So doing this route has the advantage of bypassing the blood-brain barrier uh, for substances with poor penetration into the central nervous system. Stem cells can be fairly large. The blood-brain barrier is very effective at preventing them from crossing into the brain area. So this route is very effective for a lot of conditions we're going to discuss. So what are they used for um, in medicine? Well, they're really good for chemotherapy drugs for CNS uh, cancers, antibiotic therapies for cerebrospinal fluid infection like for meningitis, long-term pain relief for patients with chronic pain issues such as cancer-related pain, spasticity relief, um, protein delivery to central nervous system, potentially useful for genetic diseases. And those who need repetitive injections every few months may just end up getting a pump, which gives a continuous infusion and just gets refilled every few months. So are they safe? The answer is studies show yes, and our experience has been consistent with that. For intraspinal drug delivery therapy, complications are rare. Okay, when you look at the studies on safety, pump issues are the main thing that get discuss, discussed, but we're not talking about that at all, so it's irrelevant. So here's a study looking at safety from 2018, phase one trial of intrathecal stem cells in progressive MS. This was 20 patients who got three intrathecal injections each, so 60 procedures, okay? They had no significant adverse events, um, and actually, this study showed not only was the intrathecal therapy safe and well-tolerated, it actually helped improve the disability from MS in these patients. So how is it done? Here's a short little video. Uh, the back area is cleaned with an antiseptic such as betadine, um, and then numbing medicine is administered like lidocaine or marcaine, okay? So it's a very well-tolerated procedure. Then a guide needle is placed, um, and you know you're in the right place when the CSF little drops start to come out. Then you put the spinal needle through the guide needle, okay? And at that point, the medication, the biologic, is injected, okay? Um, and then that's it. The needles are removed, um, and the spinal needles are so small that it would be extremely unusual to have a CSF leak um, from the procedure. So what does the research show? I'm not going to do a really, really deep dive. Um, I'll show you some studies, but anecdotally at our clinic with hundreds of cases in Mexico, we've had really, really good outcomes with debilitating neurological conditions such as ALS, MS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, post-stroke, uh, some episodes of spinal cord injury, cerebral palsy definitely, and hypoxic types of brain damage uh, often respond really, really well, okay? So let's go through a few studies. Um, here's one, intrathecal autologous bone marrow-derived hematopoietic stem cells. And this study was 80 patients with a minimum three-year follow-up. So they noted clinical improvements in 9 of 12 patients with Parkinson's, 20 of 28 with cerebral palsy, 6 of 7 with hypoxic brain damage, 2 of 4 with MS, and 4 of 5 with cerebellar atrophy. And they used upwards of 80 million stem cells, okay? So these are small-ish numbers, but very uh, um, exciting and consistent with what we see on a regular basis. Here's one from 2018, repeated intrathecal MSCs for ALS. This was a Korean study. It was randomized. So out of 64 patients, half got the intrathecal stem cells. And they did two intrathecal injections of a million cells per kilogram. So the average human being weighs about 70 kilograms, so between you know, 70 and 80 million stem cells. No significant adverse events. And those who got the stem cells showed greater functional stability at six months after treatment. Here's a study from 2019, mesenchymal stem cell transplantation for MS. This actually pulled together results from nine studies with 133 patients. So they showed a lower six-month and one-year progression rates with the intrathecal injection for those with MS. So they 
concluded by saying that the tra cell transplantation is safe and the largest benefit was obtained in those who had an intrathecal injection as compared to an IV um, or other types. One more study, sustained remission in MS after hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. So this had 10 patients and they followed them up and they wanted to see if they had a period of at least five years without any ongoing disease modifying treatment needs and half of them sustained complete remission at the end of the study and three of them MS was deemed to be resolved. So their data showed that complete remission is possible after stem cell therapy for MS. So what we're talking about is either mesenchymal stem cell therapy or hematopoietic stem cell therapy, both of which fall into the category of adult stem cell therapy. Even if you're doing what we do in, in Mexico, which is umbilical cord stem cell therapy, that's still considered adult stem cell therapy. We're not using embryonic stem cells. There are no fetal involvement with stem cells. There's no induced pluripotent stem cells, if you've ever heard of that. Those are all still in the research phases and will be for a long time. So if anyone suggests you should get an embryonic stem cell therapy, you should run away quickly. What we offer is very safe and very effective. So let's talk about the international treatment program that we have in both Tijuana and Mexicali in Mexico. Tijuana is only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport to our clinic. We do offer uh, patient concierge escort transportation from San Diego to the clinic or from the airport in Mexicali or even Yuma if you fly in there to Arizona, it's only about an hour, hour and a half from the clinic, we'll take care of the ground transportation. Our process starts with a free phone consultation. So the doctor who's licensed and experienced will have a conversation with you. Uh, we'll get any medical records, look at those as well to help give you a uh, experienced um, opinion uh, with what the treatment recommendation should be. So when you look at the studies that I just showed you, as well as a lot of others that are out there, I could have gone on for an hour with them, but the answer is people do well with a lot of stem cells. So our treatments start at 30 million stem cells, and that's usually for a joint injection or even two joint injections. Uh, but those who have neurologic conditions, uh, anywhere from 50 million up to 200 million stem cells is what we offer. So let's talk for a minute about the cells because a lot of the magic happens at the lab. Um, after a, a long uh, vetting process, we've been partnering, we partner with GenCell, which is a lab in Mexico City. They have a pristine safety record over the last seven years of their existence. Their quality assurance standards are more stringent than the FDA in the US. And that's saying a lot. The umbilical cord stem cells that um, are used are from the Wharton's jelly um, they are ethically obtained from consenting donors after a scheduled C-section. No harm to baby or mother. We don't need to use preservative like you do in the U.S. And in Mexico, labs are allowed to culture the stem cells. Okay, So without preservative, without cryogenic freezing, we have a 95% viability of the cells when they're used. And... They're not cultured past the fifth generation. Once you get to the eighth, tenth generation, which most international clinics do, those are non-functional. So they'll say, oh, hey, we're going to give you 100 million stem cells. Yeah, but 80% of them are dead. They're non-functional. So that's not what you want. What you want is what we offer, where it's very pure, potent cells that are below the fifth generation, very active and effective. So R3, we've been featured on many media outlets. Um, in the U.S., we've been in existence for eight years and 14,000 procedures. Um, in Mexico, we've been doing hundreds of procedures for the last three years. Um, to start the process, call us at 888-988-0515. Visit us online at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. There's a ton of information on the website. Our treatment started only $2,975, which is an amazing investment, and that's for 30 million stem cells. For an extra $1,000 at $3,975, a patient can get 50 million stem cells. But for those with neurologic conditions, usually you're going to want to get more than that. 
So uh, we offer upwards of 200 million stem cells uh, for our international programs, and that uh, the answer will be obtained after you have your consultation with the doctor to give you your recommendation. All right, we look forward to hearing from you, and I look forward to helping you. Thank you.